the Beretta Model 80X Cheetah. Let's check it out. In 1976, Beretta began to produce their Cheetah series, and this was either 32 ACP, 380 ACP, or even 22. And it was the open slide design, it was blowback action, it was for concealed carry, uh, but yet it's a fairly larger pistol. But it was very popular here in the United States, and there's a number of different models. Uh, but the most popular is the 380 ACP. But they stopped importation a few years ago because there were so many micro 380s and people just quit carrying a 380 that was as large as a compact 9mm. But times have changed and they've just reintroduced the Model 80X Cheetah. There's a lot of upgrades to this handgun over the original. But one of the reasons why this gun was reintroduced is there's a lot of female shooters out there that really enjoy 380. And they don't mind the size. They want something that has some heft to it. The one thing about those small little micro 380s is they have a lot of recoil and it takes a lot to master it. And so with the Cheetah, it gives you a fairly full size gun that's a compact size and yet it gives you that softer recoil and it gives you a lot of features. So we really appreciate Beretta for providing the Model 80X Cheetah for this review. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, the Beretta Model 80X Cheetah. There have been a lot of upgrades over this pistol, and honestly, it is just an upgraded Model 84S. Now, this is an 84BB. This is a little bit older model, but this has been upgraded with a lot of features that make it more concealed carry friendly. It also makes it more reliable. And we're going to take a look at each of those features, but this is one design that's been around for a long time, and yet this really has modernized it. But when it comes to the original Model 84, it's a large pistol. It carries 13 plus one in the magazine, and, you know, it's, it's a great gun. I love this gun. In fact, I actually carry this at times. Uh, it does cocked and locked, and, you know, you can just, I mean, it's just a very shootable handgun. Uh, but one of the problems was when the Ruger LCP and now the LCP Max came out, it's a tiny pistol. I mean, it's, it is so much smaller uh, than these pistols. And so this really was kind of the rage. It was kind of going smaller. Let's get smaller. The problem is, is that the recoil on this is considerably more than a larger type pistol. And so a lot of people were going out and buying these and they weren't shooting them enough to master it. Now, I love this gun. The LCP Max is just an excellent gun. It's 10 rounds and it's tiny. And I've mastered it and I can shoot it very well. But when it comes to those with lesser experience, this makes a much more shootable handgun. Now, let's go ahead and drop our magazine, check the chamber, the gun's empty. Uh, first off, one of the changes is the decocker. Uh, you saw with the Model 84 uh, BB, it just had a frame safety. This, when you push it up, it drops the hammer. And so that way, uh, it won't fire. Trigger's dead. Uh, then you need to hit the safety to bring it down, and now it'll fire the pistol. Uh, and it'll be double action here, and then single action after that. And we'll look a little bit more at that in a minute. Uh, but there are a lot of changes with this handgun that make it more shootable. And one of the big things is the Vertex style grip angle. Uh, this is more of your 1911 straight natural grip angle. If you'll notice on the Model 84, it comes down and out and around. 
It's nice in your hand, feels great, but it's definitely bigger. And for concealed carry, you want that smaller grip. The grip is huge when it comes to concealed carry. Another thing about this pistol is that it does not have a Picatinny rail. And lights and lasers on the front of the guns have become very important, especially for night shooting and self-defense. And a lot of guys are carrying it. Another big plus with the Cheetah 80X is that it is optics ready. And so now you can put an optic on here, you can put a light on it. Now this is not a small, tiny concealed carry piece and it wasn't meant to be. This is getting into that realm where it's great for those who wanna have home defense or you can conceal carry it and it's a larger, more shootable pistol. Front and rear cocking serrations. It still has that open slide design that Beretta's known for and this aids in really good reliability. One of the other things though that's a big plus is it has lessened springs. Uh, they're tuned for this gun to be able to fire, but it makes it a little easier to bring that slide back. The trigger guard has been angled off here, whereas on the originals, they're more rounded off. But probably one of the biggest pluses for the ADX Cheetah is the trigger. This has the extreme double single action trigger and it does have a reset that is adjustable. You can shorten the reset a millimeter. Now with the trigger pull on the Beretta ADX, we have to take up, then a nice clean break. Let's go ahead and do double action. It's smooth all the way through. Reset, right there. Now this is factory reset. You can actually lessen that one millimeter, which makes it really fast. Now when it comes to trigger pull weight, we have our Lyman trigger gauge and brown ales. We're gonna do double action first. Six pounds, 7.6 .6 ounces. Guys, that is not bad. A lot of times on double action pistols like this, it can be up to 10 pounds. Single action, four pounds, 13 ounces. Four pounds, 11.5 ounces. Put a magazine in, rack it, and you've got one in the chamber. Now you have the hammer in the rear position. You hit that decocker and it drops the hammer. Make sure you hit the safety and now you're ready to fire. If you'll notice that first shot has a long trigger pull. The short, the second one, really short. Now if I decock it, it drops the hammer. So the hammer's in the down position. Need to disengage my safety Pull that trigger. So if you're not ready for that second shot, you can fire it before you're ready. So you need to train with the double action as well as the single action. But the Vertec grip has checkering on the back and the front strap. Nice little beaver tail right here. Allows for a very high ride on the pistol. The safety does just naturally bring it down. You have your slide stop here. Take down lever on the other side. We'll look at that when we break it down. And then a two slot Picatinny rail. Mag release has a little divot here to be able just to drop that magazine. Now the magazine has also been upgraded. Now you notice these cuts here and this gives it more reliability with self-defense ammunition. Here's an older magazine and you can see that it doesn't have as deep cuts at the front. And so this is just gonna allow for better feeding with jacketed hollow points. Now, I did read somewhere where it said that the old 84 mags will not work. They do fit, they go into the gun, they hold the slide back, <clears throat> and we took it out to the range and it shot fine. Now we have one of the original model 84 mags. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that that functions, which it's exactly the same. Oh yeah, works great. But we weren't shooting jacketed hollow point ammunition. We were shooting some self-defense ammunition and we'll look at that in a minute. This is for your jacketed hollow points that have a larger cavity. And this is just gonna feed better than the originals. It does come with two 13 round magazines, but they offer a 10 round package for those states that aren't so free. Grips have a very nice texturing, a big upgrade from the original Beretta 84 series 
Your sights are three dot, and one big change is the dovetail at the front. So you can switch these out for night sights, fiber optics, whatever, and that's one of the things that the original didn't have. It was a milled in front sight. The barrel is 3.9 inches in length. Uh, all the parts are DLC coated to make them just more smooth, the internal parts. It has a really beautiful finish all along the gun itself. I mean, it's a very beautiful gun. Honestly, when I first saw this, I was a little concerned because I really like the classic looks of the 84. It's just very smooth, well-rounded off, no accessory rail. And, you know, I was kind of thinking maybe this would be a little bit too big for concealed carry. But once I got it in my hands, once I took it to the range, put a light on it, shot it with the light, uh, you know, that really gives you a lot of advantage, guys, carrying a light on your firearm, especially if you have one at home for self-defense. But with the Optics Ready version, I mean, you can put a red dot on this, and then, I mean, this is a state-of-the-art firearm. Now, your optics plate's held in by two screws, uh, and then the rear sight is actually retained in the optics plate. I'm not a big fan of that. I like to have my sight on the back, but that'll give you plenty of room to put your plate. Plates do not come with the pistol. They're not included. You have to order them from Beretta. Uh, they make plates for the Holosan 407K, the Shield Arms RMSC, and the Dr. Noblis. So those are your really micro red dot sights. And for a long time, there were no other options for 380 ACP in a medium-sized compact pistol. And then Ruger introduced their Security 380, and it really kind of upped the game. And so it's great to see Beretta coming in with a totally different type firearm. While this is still a polymer frame pistol, it is a hammer-fired pistol. Uh, and Ruger really kind of stepped out obviously building on their LCP series with the LCP and the LCP2 and the LCP+. Plus. But more and more people are looking at a 380 option for self-defense. And guys, again, when it comes to the Cheetah series, the Model 84, 380 ACP, and then we have the Model 85, which is a single stack. It's a little bit thinner. And then we have the Browning BDA, which is actually made by Beretta. And so these were very popular concealed carry pieces, honestly, before concealed carry became completely legal. These were larger pistols, and really, when they kind of went out of favor, I understood it at the time. But again, when you bring in the small little LCPs, they're just difficult to shoot. So now, with the Model 80X, this gives us a modernized version. And guys, it's great to see a lot of companies coming up with other calibers rather than just 9mm. The Beretta Model 80X Cheetah. One pound, 7.6 ounces. The original Model 84 Cheetah. One pound, 6.6 .6 ounces. Big thank you to Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA. Uh, one of the number one suppliers of ammunition in the country. Uh, also, we really appreciate Lula Loaders for saving our thumbs. It just really works with a lot of different magazines, the Mag Lula. And also, Norma sent some of their NXD uh, this is some non-expanding copper bullets, and we're going to test that out separately, but this is some pretty good stuff, and we really appreciate those guys sending it along with the Beretta. <laughs> guys, I'd love to see 380 coming back. It just gives you a lesser recoiling option, and yet the self-defense loads that are out there are, are excellent and great for those who are first-time shooters, especially those with weaker hand strength that shy away from recoil. And so it gives them a good full-size gun, in a sense, and yet this is concealable, but it lets them hold on to it. And I'll tell you, this thing is smooth as butter. One of the things about Beretta is the way it just slides, and that open slide design. Makes it very reliable, but it also has a lot of slide-to-frame fit. It's one of the beautiful things that Beretta really has accomplished with this design. And they really step outside the box of most of the modern striker fire pistols when it comes to their 9280 series. Lines on this are beautiful. Uh, I was a little concerned about the Picatinny rail at the front, that it would take away from the look of it, but it really is functional and it looks great. Front and rear cocking serrations. Uh, it's a very safe pistol to carry. And you've got 13 rounds. And again, there's a lot of self-defense ammo out there. Very smooth, hit that decocker, and you've got a, just a double action trigger pull. Making sure though that you drop that safety so you're able to fire if you need to on the next round.
Yeah. Just a smooth shooting gun. With the Norma NDX, and that stands for non-expanding defensive ammo. It's a 58 grain bullet. Uh, it's going 1,283 feet per second with 205 foot-pounds of energy. All right, the Norma NXD, let's check it out. I'll be honest guys, that's a lot less recoil than the standard target loads. It's a smaller bullet, moving faster, but uh, very light with recoil. And yet you're gonna get that penetration. We're gonna shoot one round of the Fiocchi 95 grain full metal jacket. Then we're gonna shoot the second round of the Norma NXD ammunition. See the difference in this gel block. Now the full metal jacket Fiocchi went straight through it, like we talked about, because it didn't expand. But the NXD did not expand either. And with those cuts in the bullet, it's going to allow that to slow it down. So the mass of the gel actually caused this to give all of its energy out and to stop. And that's really the big plus here. And of course, any of your self-defense ammunition is going to expand and it's going to slow it down. And it's going to, again, deliver the energy inside your target. And that's really what you want. Uh, here is the bullet that we pulled out of the jail. And you can see there's no deformation whatsoever, but these little cuts here allow it to travel through without going completely through the ballistic gelatin. Now for disassembly, we're gonna drop our magazine, check the chamber, the gun's empty. Right here on the side, there's a small little button. Just to press it in, and then with the other hand, bring your lever down. And that just relieves the slide. So it comes right off. Now we have our recoil spring and guide rod, pull it out, and then our barrel. Very lightweight. Of course, this is an aluminum alloy frame, so it makes it lightweight, easy to carry. But it's a lot like the original Beretta Model 80 series. And this is the ADX. So it's really simple to disassemble and to clean. You'll notice that there is a little bit of a difference in the lockup, and it gives you that more of a fixed barrel type design. So it allows for really good accuracy. You have no movement in the barrel. It's not the John Browning design. Another thing you'll notice is the ample slide rails. And so we have two sections, but they're pretty long. A lot of times with a lot of your polymer frame striker fire pistols, you have little tiny sections, sometimes less than half that size. So that gives you a really good slide to frame fit. And it helps the gun just to glide a little better. But overall, guys, that's all you have to do to field strip. Uh, for reassembly, drop in your barrel. And then we're going to bring in our recoil spring and guide rod. Now, when you bring your slide over your frame, you want to make sure that the barrel is in the fully seated position. And if you'll notice right here, there's a small gap. And so if I push the barrel, and I want to show you this little trick. If I take and push the barrel, it actually brings the lever forward. And so now it's engaged. Uh, if it won't go, it's because the barrel is not seated correctly. And test for function and we're good to go. Nice hard plastic box. Then we have the pistol, extra 13 round magazine, lock. There's some paperwork included, but you use this QR code and you can download the manual from that. Now, MSRP on the Beretta Model 80X Cheetah is $799. If you get the launch version, it's $999. But again, they will be coming out with other colors and market price is typically gonna be considerably less. And so let's talk about some pros and cons. Uh, first off, it is a fairly large pistol for 380 ACP. Again, we've got the Ruger LCP Max here that's much smaller. And really 10 plus one compared to 13 plus one. It's a more of a full size gun, so it's more pleasurable just to take out to the range and shoot. And the accuracy on this pistol is excellent. Uh, the Vertex style grip angle really makes this nice in the hand and yet it makes it easier for concealed carry. Front and rear cocking serrations, you have a pick rail, optics ready, 
front sight is dovetailed so you can change these out to whatever you want. Uh, they've redesigned the trigger guard and you know it gives you something if you like to put your finger around that front of that trigger guard, which I'm not a big fan of, but there are some people that are. Uh, two 13 round magazines that have been redesigned to be able to shoot self-defense ammunition even better. Uh, it has a decocker so it's going to be very safe to carry and the mag release is right there in an excellent place. So to me this is an excellent gun especially for those who are more recoil sensitive have lesser hand strength because you do have an easier to rack slide uh, and everything is tuned. When it comes to cons, well, it's a larger pistol than <laughs> the Ruger LCP and some of the other really small micro 380s. And so it's gonna be a bigger pistol. And honestly, it's a little bit bigger than most of your micro nines, including the SIG P365 and others. And so that's definitely something that, you know, you have to weigh out to what you're gonna carry. Nine millimeters definitely more effective ballistically for self-defense, but 380 ACP with the right ammunition is an excellent choice. It's Beretta quality, and Beretta is the oldest firearm company that's still in existence. It's been in business for close to 500 years, which is pretty impressive. Now, one other con I would say is this decocker safety, uh, and that's traditional for Beretta. It's been that way for a long time, but for me, if I'm not careful, I forget to bring it back on safe. And so if I'm gonna decock it, it's great to be able to remember to bring that safety down and now it's ready to fire. The fit and finish is Beretta quality and it's just excellent. And I'm really happy to see them bringing this back out and reviving the old Model 84. I love this gun. This was a police trade-in and sometimes you can get these for a fairly reasonable price, but they're less and less coming into the country. And so it's great to see a brand new offering that has a ton of upgrades to it to just make this a more effective self-defense option. So guys, with today's 380 self-defense loads, I mean, this makes a great carry option. One of the things about having this lesser recoil is you just have more control over the pistol and you can get those shots on target quicker. And so that is really one of the big pluses for this, whether you're recoil shy or not. But if you are recoil shy, this makes a great option. It just has less recoil. It's very accurate. And guys, it's a class act. And again, a big thank you to Beretta for supplying the Model 80X Cheetah for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And it has the extreme. So guys, with today's self-defense loads, I mean, it, okay. So guys, with today's, def so guys, with, okay. But this is for your more deeper hole. Big thanks to Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. Eh, come on. Big thanks to Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. All made in the USA. All right, the NXD from we're at the Norma NXD. And just bring it down. And when you do, you can let go of the slide. <laughs> Take down lever to engage. So now, okay, well it just engaged. <laughs> okay, we engaged.